In this specific video, we'll talk about QBasic programming for very beginners. Want to learn QBasic from very beginning who don't know QBasic programming? They can start from here. I'm using here QB64, which is easy to use. You can copy program, you can paste, and you can test whether that is working or not. So in this specific video, of QBasic for beginners, we'll talk about write a program to input inches and convert into foot and inches. So basically, what is the requirement for this program? The requirement is we need inches, inches value. So we'll write your CLS to clear the data output screen and we need some value that is inches. So I will write your input, enter inches. So user will enter any value and that will be stored in I. So you can use variable name i or incs, that's your choice. Okay, so I, and I for inches. So we have to convert to foot. We have to know how many inches is equals to one foot. So that is 12 inches equals to one foot. So let me show you the formula. As you can see here, 12 inches is equals to one foot. So basically what is formula? Divide the length by 12 divide this inch by 12 then we'll get foot value so let me keep the formula here to calculate foot so f o t foot this is variable name numeric variable name foot equals to i inches divide by i'm not using this symbol for division i am using this one symbol this is integer division and integer division gives only quotient value without point so divide by 12 it will also divide but it will give quotient without point so that will be the foot and remaining inches how to calculate for that i will write here inch equals to i that is inch value you enter by the user mod 12 mod means it will give remainder that is the remaining value of division so that will be our inches so after that we have to print the value so foot is foot that is stored in FOT foot variable here and then the second one is inches inches is stored in INCH okay I will write here after converting after after converting foot is you and inches is ins so let's run the program okay i'll write here end to end the program here and let's run the program you can press f5 or you can go to the run option and start so let me show you dry run after running this okay i will enter here value 15 for now 15 means 12 inch means one foot and remaining three inches okay yeah after converting foot is one Okay, let me show you dry run. I, I means 15. User enter the value 15 that is stored in I for inches. And foot equals to I integer division 12. So divide 15 by 12. So 12 ones are 12. Question is 1. So that is stored in foot. 1 foot. We got value. And remainder is 3. We don't have to deal with remainder while we are using integer division. Next, inch equals to i i means 15 mod 12 mod will give remainder after division so i means 15 15 mod 12 means divide 15 by 12 so 12 ones are 12 1 is quotient and minus 15 then remainder is 3 so we got inch value that is 3 so inches is 3 so in this way it works mod gives remainder and integer division gives question value without point so let's run the program again and enter the different value. I will enter here 25. 25 means 2 foot and 1 inches. So you can enter any value, it will give the correct output. Let me verify this statement by here. Okay, let me enter 15. You can see 1.25 foot. That means 0.5 means that is inches, 3 inches, only 1 foot. And if I enter here 25, 2 inch and 0 0.83333, that means 1 inches. 2 foot 1 inches. In this way it works. Thank you for watching. If you understand the concept, please.
click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share